सो वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव ऑक्सीजन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम थर्टीन फ्रॉम वन प्लस एट टी दिस इज पोर्टेड रूम एंड रंस ऑन एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन इट हैज ऑल द फीचर्स ऑफ वन प्लस अलॉन्ग विद दिस इट ऑल्सो हैज मेनी परफॉर्मेंस बूस्टिंग फीचर्स विच विल हेल्प यू इन इंक्रीजिंग द गेमिंग परफॉर्मेंस There is also a gaming mode like the वन प्लस विच विल गिव यू अ बेटर विजुअल क्वालिटी सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द फुल एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट द द रैम एक्सटेंशन एंड द स्टोरेज एंड ऑल्सो देर इज अ मेजर चेंज ऑफ प्रोसेसर सो लेट्स गो फॉर द अबाउट सेक्शन Now you can see this. The oxygen OS is 13.0, and a major change is that th this is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 octa-core processor. But our device Mi 11X has the 870 and is showing the 865. But because it is a ported ROM from OnePlus 8T, so OnePlus 8T have the uh, by default 865 ROM. That's why it's showing the 865 processor in your Mi 11X. So don't worry about that, and uh, it's a free a uh, fake processor showing you. Now in this, you also have many options for home screen customization. Overall, it is a very beautiful ROM. OnePlus is a leading brand, and it provide users with a uh, very simple and attractive ui with lots of features so now is the time to convert your 11x device to one plus now let's talk about some of its bugs then actually two bugs are found in it and uh, one bug you get to see in the camera and the second bug is a very big bug that it uh it does not give you 120 hertz means uh, sometimes it gives you 120 hertz for 1 to 2 minutes and after that it automatically goes to 16 fps 60 fps yeah, i checked all the settings but i didn't uh, see anything special you can fix the camera by installing gcam but uh, you can't fix the refresh rate of the display it uh, and it want to be fixed even after rooting also So now you can see that is uh, this is the customization section of your home screen in which you are getting text and color related customization. Talking about safety net, you do not get safety net pass in this device. But if you want to pass it, you have to install Magisk. After installing Magisk, you have to enable Gyrosk mode option in in Magisk settings. After that, your device will reboot. Then simply you have to go to Google and search Universal Safety Net Fixer. Then you download it. But remember, what you have downloaded it should be the file of Gyrosk. If it is not there, then it will not work. Then you go to your Magisk and install it. Then after that you have to reboot again, and after that you have to clear the data from Play Store, and then your Safety Net will be passed. And now this is the refresh rate section. So in this refresh rate section, you are getting the two options. First is standard, and second is high refresh rate. But high refresh is not working properly because there is a glitch of 120 fps. But standard is working properly because ST standard have only 60 fps mode. And now you are seeing the status bar. The status bar is looks like very beautiful, but there are also a similar uh, customization. But you can edit it by the right side of corner, top corner. You can edit it and uh, customize by yourself. And now I'm moving forward for the next customization. And uh, this is the application of gaming that like uh, uh, if you want to download some games. So this is the market of. Uh, uh, actually this is the app store and the game store also so if you want to download any extra game so you can download from here and now this is the gen mode i don't know uh, what is this and uh, how this work so uh, skip this and now moving for the next customization 
so this is the phone manager so phone manager has a security sections and you can also find the gaming mode in it and uh, first you have to give the permission like uh, permit uh, users access after that uh, after the giving the permission you will uh, find the gaming mode and you also you will find the many the uh, like features like uh, regarded with the uh, security app uh, security application so in this you can see the privacy per permissions like battery and the virus scan and clean up storage also so uh, uh, basically it will clean your device and it will clean your junk files and uh, it will clean your uh, blot bed applications data also so this is uh, 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 a cleaner you can also say this this is a cleaner of your device and now I already computed the three benchmark application score. So first is CPU thermal throttling and the another one is Gigawins 5 and the third one is Anto 2 version 9 score. So the CPU thermal throttling and the Gigawins 5 score is average but uh, there is a little bit high of your uh, Anto 2 version 9 score but uh, both two applications like uh, CPU and uh, Gigawins is average so that's why i'm saying like uh, this will work for gaming or not i'm not sure but uh, yes i i will add some game parts in the last of video but uh, i'm not sure this will work for the gaming or not so let's see this will work or not moving forward the uh, like uh, seeing uh, i'm going to show you the scores like uh, so just opening the screenshots and now you can see the this is the cpu thermal throttling scores uh, which is the uh, max uh, GIPS 3 like 21,000 and 101 GIPS and uh, you can also see the average is 285,788 GIPS which is also average scores like uh, average as the average scores and the minimum has also a minimum scores like 2,7,000 approach and the CPU is th uh, throttled at the 79% uh, and no Gigawins 5 scores as single core scores 836 and multi core score is 2760 so moving forward for another benchmark application like uh, this is uh under two version nine score so uh this is under two version nine score and you can see the score is six lakh seventeen thousand seven hundred and seventy seven so it is also average score so whole uh, three applications score is average so it means gaming hardcore ga gaming will not work if you are playing the hardcore gaming and if you are player of hardcore games like uh, uh, James in impact pubg bcmi and any other game so it will not work for that and uh, so but basically for daily driver it's a great and battery backup is also great and uh, the battery backup this is customization section so customization sections is also great and uh, many customization sections is also well well here but a part of this i'm moving for the gaming sections and going to show you the gaming part that how this is delivering fps and uh, how is the performance of real gameplay So as I told you, the ROM has not support of 120 FPS. So that's why this is not the game is not running on 19 FPS. And you can also see the FPS is 58 and 60 FPS. So uh, it will not work for 19 FPS because ROM has only a uh, one bu uh, two bugs like I already told you the camera bug and the refresh rate bug. Let's so that's why you together. can't play the game on 19 FPS by default. Mm -hmm. While I jumping from the plane, uh, but uh, there's no any lag, and still I'm getting the FPS around 59 and 51. Now getting 38 FPS. It's goes. It's going to the uh, 38 FPS. Like uh, okay, let's see again.
Russell FPS is constant uh, 60 and 58 and 59. I don't have any gun so I don't think like uh, I will survive here and uh, okay but uh, I thought uh, you got an idea like uh, this is not for gaming like you are getting only the 59 and 60 but you can't play the game on 19 fps by default oh shit I got killed So finally I decided this room is not built for hardcore gaming but if you want to still if you want to install this room so you can install it but uh, it will only work for the daily driver and casual gaming but if you want to play the hardcore gaming so it will not work for that. So thank you for watching this video and uh, tata bye bye see you in the next video.